radical expressions. Radical expressions means that you have something involving a square root. So let's start with a basic one. If we look at the square root of 36, that means it is either 6 or negative 6. If we look at the opposite of the square root of 36, that means it's either the opposite of 6 or the opposite of negative 6. If we look at the square root of negative 36, that one we can't do because there is nothing times itself that's going to give us negative 36. If we have the square root of negative 10 squared. Well, when we do this, we want to consider the absolute value. So if we have the square root of, let's say, a squared, that's going to equal the absolute value of a, which is going to equal a. So the square root of negative 10 squared is going to give us the absolute value of negative 10, which is going to give us 10. The square root of x minus 2 squared is going to give us the absolute value of x minus 2. The square root of 81 x to the fourth, well, that's going to give us the square root of 81, that's 9, and the square root of x to the fourth, that's x to the second, because x to the second times x to the second gives us x to the fourth. Same idea when we look at cube roots. So let's say that we have the cube root of negative 125. So what that means is we need to figure out what number times itself three times will give us negative 125. So if we break down negative 125, it's negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5. So negative 5 times itself three times is negative 125. So the cube root of neg negative 125 is negative 5. Let's look at the cube root of 8 over 27. So what times itself three times gives us 8? Well, we could write 8 as 2 times 2 times 2. We could write 27 as 3 times 3 times 3. 2 times itself 3 times gives us 8. So the cube root of 8 is 2, and the cube root of 27 is 3. If we have the opposite of the cube root of x to the third, well, the cube root of x to the third is just x. We had the opposite from right here, so that will leave us with the opposite of x.